Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. I'm glad you're here today. I'm glad to be here today. Finally, I think we've got this fixed. Let's cross our fingers. Well, welcome back. I'm sorry, my setup seems to be bouncing a little. Let's try to fix that so you don't get sick. I would like to blame all my absence on the problems that we've had with um, filming, but it hasn't. I was away for a while. <laughs> I had a little stay in the hospital, so, and it was just for testing, nothing exciting, but um, that kind of put a crimp in my style. They, for some reason, wouldn't let me film from my hospital bed. I do not understand, but I'm here. And I'm glad to be here, and I hope you're glad to be here as well. Let's see here, what's new in my world besides crazy hospital stays and ah, trying to fix it so I can film without it cutting out on me. Let's see here. Oh, I got some new products from some friends. One of them I'm of which I am wearing and it is very comfortable. It oh, it's one of the things I'm using to prop up my camera. Not my camera, my phone. Okay. Well, we pulled that out safely. Let's just hope it stays that way. I need my eyeballs for this, sorry. They glare so bad, but it's by Pure, and it's in Debutante. See, Pure. And it is gorgeous. Look at this. It is a berry shade. Maybe that'll give... Yeah, there you go. Look at that. I'll swatch it for you. Gorgeous, gorgeous shade. My friend sent it to me with a couple of other things. Well, more than a couple of other things. She just blew me away. She, I knew she was sending me a couple of things, but I never expected everything that she sent me. So that's what I'm wearing on my lips, and it kind of matches my fingers. That wasn't planned, but hey, you know, when it happens, it happens. What I'm wearing today is Bogota Blackberry by OPI. It is a berry color, but if the light hits it or the sun hits it, it looks more wine to me than a dark berry. It's beautiful color. It's probably one of my favorite colors by them, and I'm really not a girly kind of color nail polish girl. So that says a lot about the nail polish. So, yeah, that is one of the new things in my life. Lots of new products that we'll talk about. Um, and did I tell you guys I had a bald spot on my head? I got it from my shingles. And so I've been wearing my, my hair is longer than it has been in forever. And it's driving me batty. But that's okay. I have to do a hair color test for a company soon, and so um, when I'm done with that, I'll probably shave my head. So don't be surprised if one day you log on and click on my channel and I have no hair. It won't be the first time I've shaved my head, probably won't be the last time because I have done it multiple times for various different reasons. This time will be the first time I'm not sure that all my hair will grow back, so, so that kind of concerns me. Sorry, I'm getting a wipe so I can clean off my hand because I don't want to get berry all over my orange shirt. I know you can't see what my shirt says. I guess you can. It says, stronger than you think. It's kind of my motto. I saw it at the store last summer, and I had to pick it up because it's kind of what I live by. 
because you never know what curveball life is going to throw at you and you just got to be tough and strong because the curveballs aren't going to stop coming so yeah so on days that I really need this reminder this is the shirt I put on and this is the week for this shirt but it's clean I promise well since I've been missing I thought we would go over our last samples um, that we pulled and then um, pull some new ones that I will use and then we'll pull new ones on Sunday. I hope that's okay with you. Um, I figure that way we can, you know, kind of get caught up a little bit and add some other content in between. Okay, well, with that, let us talk about our last samples. The first, I don't know if it was the first one we pulled. I don't remember. And I gotta leave my glasses on for this, guys, sorry. We pulled Renewed Hope in a Jar Moisturizer. And I don't know if you remember, but I said if this hurt, I wasn't gonna wear it or use it. It didn't hurt. I used the whole bottle up actually, or tube, and I liked it because it didn't burn at all. One of the drawbacks is it wasn't very moisturizing, so I think this is would be really good for normal skin, um, not someone who has really dry skin. So if you have sensitive skin, it's good for it'd be good for you, but not if you have dry skin with that. One thing I didn't like was the scent. It's very chemically, chemically, is that a word? It's very chemical scent, has a very chemical scent. Okay, I promise I am an educated woman. Um, but you know that, that isn't something that is a dead no-go for me. I don't like it, but you know, if this is the only moisturizer I had, I would use this because it doesn't hurt. So, um, so Renewed Hope in a Jar is good. I give it a thumbs up. Um, would I buy this? Only in a pinch. Okay, the next thing we had, sorry, gotta put my glasses on again to read. The Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E um, Lotion. Now, I'm still working on this. I didn't use it on my whole body. I thought I might, but this stuff is so darn thick. It would take me a hundred years to rub it into my hand. I mean, into my whole body, because look at this. It is very strongly scented of cocoa butter. So if you don't like cocoa butter, you will not like this Palmer, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. Now, see? Look at that. It's just sitting there. It's not going anywhere. I like cocoa butter, and this is still really strong stuff. It does have vitamin E, so it does. it is very nourishing for the skin with the cocoa butter and the vitamin E in it. And so I have been using it on my hands, which has made them nice and soft. And that's nice, except that scent lingers. And there's something in there besides cocoa butter. I don't know if they were trying to add to it to make it um, a little more fragrant, but they did more harm than good, I think. Okay, I'm just like messing with this, aren't I? And I just need to leave it be. Maybe move it over there. So it is moisturizing. If you like cocoa butter, you will like this. Although there is a little underlying scent that um, I can't really put my finger on. No, I can't. And the print's too small for me to read if there's any other fragrances in here. So, but 
I think it says it smooths marks and tones skin. I think it would be good for the feet, you know, to put it on your feet at night and then put socks on to soften up your feet. But as an all-over body lotion, I like body creams and body butters, but that's a little too thick for me. Or maybe it's the scent. Maybe it's the scent. Okay. Well, Lori's killed that horse, so we'll just move on to the third thing we pulled, which is the Shiseido Beneficence Wrinkle Resist 24 Intens Intensive Eye Contour Cream. Okay, I'm not sure I needed my glasses to read that because obviously I couldn't see it anyways. This is supposed to help with, you know, your fine lines and wrinkles. It's also supposed to help with, I think, like anti-fatigue. I remember reading somewhere about this, but of course I can't see it now. So we'll just move on, but I love this stuff. It is the first eye cream I have used in forever that does not hurt and when I mean forever I mean over a year I have been in the hunt for an eye cream for over a year that doesn't hurt that moisturizes my skin and makes it look moisturized after I've put it it's soaked into the skin it either burns or five minutes after I've put on the eye cream, my skin is dry and scaly again. Or it burns. I've had a lot that have worked for me and then turned on me. So I'm in love with this. Now, I got about three uses out of this. And, you know... That made me fall in love. I have to save my pennies for this because I, I know Shiseido is not a cheap brand and I am a poor woman. You can still smell it. It has a nice light. Well, I'm trying to smell it over the cocoa butter. Like floral fragrance. But it's, it's so light you can barely smell it, which is nice. I don't like a he I don't like heavy scented moisturizers. So um, I appreciate that in the eye cream. So yeah, that is a big hit for me. I I hope that I can someday afford to purchase that because I think I just found the thing I've been searching for for over a year. Okay, since we went through those, are there any of those that you have tried? Use, love, hate, think is the bomb diggity that I should reconsider trying or I should just give up on? Let me know in the comments down below. And have you tried anything new lately? See, this is why I try not to wear my glasses. You guys get glare off my glasses. Let me know what you've tried recently that you've liked or you've hated. Either works for me. I think it's important that we know each other's feedback. Okay, this is our hair care bag. I've split them between samples. I should say we're moving on, huh? We're moving on. I've split them between hair care and skin care because we only had a couple of um, makeup items so I just pulled them off to the side and I'll talk to you about them when I try them out but this is our hair care so we'll pull one out of hair care and two out of skin care and I can see in the bag it's not very deep but I don't want to look so and since we only have a couple of days I'm going to pull out a packet oh it's a big packet I may be working on this for a while. Okay. 
this. I think we got this in the Walmart beauty box. It's the Nexus Humectris Intensely Hydrating Mask. Now, I do not have a lot of hair. I do not know if you have noticed that, although I have a lot more than usual. Um, this will take, there's probably two uses in here for me, maybe even three. So, um, I'll probably be using this over the next few weeks, but I'll definitely try it in the next couple of days to see um, how it works on my hair. It's a protein complex, and it's for normal to dry hair, which is good, since I have naturally dry hair, thanks to my curls. So, I'm excited to try that. Okay, this is our skincare bag. And it says, just love. We all should just love one another. Oh, wouldn't life be so much easier? Okay. We have pulled Dermalogica Ultra Calming Calm Water Gel. I don't know if you could see that. That is what we've got. I have never tried Dermalogica. If you have... Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. Isn't this supposed to be for sensitive skin, Dermalogica? I think it is. I don't know. I know I have some other samples of Dermalogica in this bag, but I've never tried them, so I'm excited. Okay, one more. Okay, we pulled a Peter Thomas Roth. Water Drench Hydrating Moisturizer. I like some of Peter Thomas Roth products, so this is exciting. I'll try this tonight after I wash my face. I think that will be good, don't you? All right. These are our three samples. If you have any experience with any of these products or any of these brands, leave. tell me about them down in the comments. The only one I have ever used, oh, I may have used Nexus back when I was young, but really the only one I've used is Peter Thomas Roth, so this is going to be exciting. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my video back. Um, I am sorry it was so long, it's because I was a little wordy tonight. Go figure, right? I'm not a yacker at all. Okay, you guys have a great night. I'll let you get on with it, and I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself, okay? Bye.